Energy and Motivation for Weight Loss Fill your heart with the creative power to accept the past, decorate the present, and transform the future. If you want really to lose the weight and have weight loss success, you have to make up your mind to do it. And here's how. First, how to have the energy and motivation to succeed. If you want to be successful as possible, then you need to be able to have the drive, determination, and focus to get there. Take a look at any of the world's most successful people and you'll find they have almost superhuman levels of motivation. Arnold Schwarzenegger talks about visualizing his goals from a young age and even breaking into the gym to train on days when it wasn't open. Dwayne The Rock Johnson frequently posts on Instagram his alarm going off at 4 a.m. in the morning when he gets up to train. Neither of these guys ever seems to have a day when they're too tired or not enthusiastic. Will Smith says the secret to his success is just being willing to run farther and longer than anyone else on the treadmill of life. If you have the determination and the energy, then you will put in some hours and more work at every stage of the game. And as you do so, You'll be more enthusiastic doing it and happier doing it. Imagine coming home from a hard day of wor at work and having all the energy you need to pack away your clothes, to wash the dishes, to do a workout, and then to work on your side project before playing with the kids and romancing the wife or your husband. Respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you. Grow your, grow, grows you or makes you happy. Respect yourself enough to walk away from anything that no longer serves you, grows you, or makes you happy. And that includes losing the weight, making the decision that the food you're eating is not the right food, that you have become acutely aware that sugar, not fat, that's making you fat. It's what you've been putting in your mouth and putting in your belly that's created the fat that you've been carrying around all this time. And you can respect yourself enough to walk away from the bad food that no longer serves you, that makes you fat and makes you unhappy. So walk away from what no longer serves you, grows you, or makes you happy. No time. Many of us say we don't have time to get into shape or achieve the things we want to achieve, but this isn't really accurate. More likely, it's actually that we don't have the energy, and this is why you may find yourself just crashing in front of the TV rather than doing anything productive. So the question is, how can you change that about yourself? How can you drive, get the drive that produces the energy you need to go after things you want? You know... Your mind is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. If you don't make the change in your mind first, nothing else is going to happen. It's like the longest journey begins with the first step. If you don't put it in your mind that you are the I am, I am losing my weight. I am 50 pounds lighter. I am fitting into my old clothes. I am healthy. You're never going to get there if you don't put it in your mind first. And how do you do that? By setting the right goals. One thing to do is to learn to set your goals correctly. The mistake that many of us make is to have goals that are too out of our control, too long term, or too vague. For instance, saying you want to lose three stone or three pounds in a year makes it hard to know how much you should train or how you should eat. You can take it easy for a week and just make it up for it the next week, right? Nah, that's not true. Instead then, make your goals much more immediate and much more within your control. In this case, the goal might be to work out four times a week and to eat less than 2,000 calories a day. These are precise goals that you can try and accomplish every day. There's nothing left to chance on the long term. You know, in the, uh, the seven-step system of Alcoholics Anonymous, which I've always been impressed with, how could they make someone stop drinking alcohol 
something that's so addictive and so uh, pulling on them to do. Well, they've come to realize you only have to not drink one day. One day. Just go under 200, 2,000 calories in a day. Cut out the, the, the high sugar products for a day. Stop drinking sugared soda for a day. Stop eating pizza for a day. Stop eating bagels for a day. Stop eating cake, cookies, crackers, potato chip, all the carbohydrates that are making you fat for one day. And then do it again the next day. And then again the next day. Those are precise goals that you can try and accomplish every day. There's nothing left to chance or the long term. Meditate. Live purely. Be quiet. Do your work with mastery. Like the moon, come out from behind the clouds and shine. Take control of your life. One day at a time. And the way to do that is through visualization. At the same time, it's also important to make sure you always remember why you are doing those things and that you have a clear vision for what it is you're trying to achieve. If, for example, you want to be a famous vlogger on YouTube, then you should visualize that whenever you're trying to concede, convince yourself to work out. Think about what it's like and really immerse yourself into the emotion of it. Silence is a source of great strength. And what that means is you should take a few minutes every day to quiet your mind and visualize that slim of you, that person going out on the first date, that person going out on the dance floor, that person being looked at and admired, having people come up to you and say, boy, you lost a lot of weight, didn't you? Keep it up. That's what you have to think about. Not that you're fat, that you're obese, that you can't lose weight. Be positive in your thoughts. Because we become what we think all day long. So put positive thoughts in your head and visualize yourself in the future. Because if it's going to be, it has to start in your mind. You have to create the image. You have to create the movie. And you have to become the star of that movie. To help you, we're providing you with the opportunity to get a copy of The Power of Mindfulness for Weight Loss. Go to SaturdayDiet.com, Mindfulness for Weight Loss. And it's a great bargain. You get immediate download. And please, help us share the word. Help other people that need these concepts and this information to help them win the battle against obesity, heart trouble, diabetes, Alzheimer's, all the ills that come in with over being overweight and obese. See you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. Bye-bye.